Come on in, family. Come on in. I welcome you. I welcome you to join the live right now. Come on in. Don't hesitate. Don't wait. Come on. Saturday morning. You had your Friday night off. You had all your fun last night. You got all that out the way. Now come on into the room and get this ass whooping that I'm about to hand out to a lot of you GMNs. People I like to call GMNs, genetically modified Negroes. Come on in. Mm Mm-hmm. Join in on this ass whooping I'm about to hand out to a lot of you GMNs, you genetically modified Negroes. Come on in. Because see, y'all done brought the spirit warrior out now. I try to be, I try to be in my higher self, God supreme. But God has, God hands out wrath just as well. So God hands out wrath just as well. So it's time for me now to do what God does, and that is hand out hand out wrath to a lot of you GMO G- G- GMNs. I call you genetically modified Negroes. A lot of you Negroes, a lot of you genetically modified Negroes. See, you had to bring out the spirit warrior now. See, I, I I try to stay in my higher self, but a lot of you like to bring out the spirit warrior. So just as God hands out wrath. I must too hand out rap because that's who that's that's how I am. I am made in the image. Okay. And so God hands out rap. It's time for me to hand out some ass whooping to y'all. Peace reflection. I see you. I see you in the room. Yes. It's time for me to hand out a lot of ass whooping to you all. So so I got my staff with me today because my staff is my where I whoop y'all ass with. Okay. So my the spirit warrior is out. So I had to bring out the staff today. Okay. I had to bring out the staff, but let's just go ahead and get into the message, okay? You see it? Yeah, got my tea going on, so I don't get too off the wall with y'all. But I'm gonna go. I'm gonna I'm, see. The one thing is, I played it a little bit safe with y'all. I played it a little bit safe with y'all, but y'all pushed me because a lot of y'all see, you know, me coming out in this. In this in this world, especially on the internet, especially on YouTube, I would say more on YouTube, because I'm always on Facebook. But some of you on who follow me on the interwebs, I must correct you, you GMNs, you you genetically modified Negroes. I must correct you, who uh behind the keyboard type ass niggas, okay, you Negroes. And 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 what I want to say is the fact that you believe that because let me start by saying this. We have leaders that come out and that speak up for our race. We have leaders that come out and that speak up for our people. And the problem with you GMNs, you genetically modified Negroes, is the fact that every time someone comes out representing you, you find fault and you find a problem with these people. You did it with Malcolm. You did it with Martin. You did it with... You did it with you do it with um you did it with Umar Johnson who had a who had an opportunity to show you hey listen we could come together and build our own schools but let's even go further than that now you have leaders who are coming out you got a leader who is coming out showing you bigger and better and doing more than just that he's showing you a way out what we call the smart resistance he's showing you a way out. He's showing you how to return back to your higher self. He's showing you how to go back to your natural state of mind. And I'm talking about the master teacher, the honorable master teacher, nature to a man who is showing you how to escape your lower self, your lower realms. But the problem with a lot of you genetically modified Negroes is this. Number one, let's just let's just address the basics. Number one, you're still eating bad food. I saw a lot of you comment on my, I saw a lot of you comment on my, on my, on my, um, post on, on my page, on my YouTube channel for taking up for a master teacher nature. But I saw a lot of you comment on that and you call me all, all kinds of and all these things, which really don't, the name calling don't bother me, but I can't even address you 
Because when I go to your page, you still drinking and eating McDonald's. No, seriously. Seriously, when I go to your page, you're still eating and drinking McDonald's food in your videos. How can I address someone who is not even who is not even physically on the level that I am and, and, and not even let's not even get into the metaphysical part of it. So I can't even address those of you who are not even on the level that I am physically yet because I am supreme in my body, my body and my body, my, my, my body is my mind. And what I feed, my mind feeds my body. And because I am supreme and elevating and ele electrifying inside my body, you can't touch me there. You got to, you got to touch me there first. You got to first show me that you are, you are, you got to first show me that you are even eating right. You got to first show me that you are even eating right. And then show me your mind is there because your mind is your body. But I already know your mind is a wasteland because you're eating waste food. You're eating garbage. You're eating genetically modified food. And so I can't even address you, let alone have an intellectual conversation with you. So we can't even go there. Some of you call me out on my on my YouTube channel and you call me by my out of my name and whatever. But that's cool. But I'm addressing you genetically modified Negroes for this purpose and this purpose alone. Number one, before you can even come at any intellectual out here, bringing knowledge, bringing truth, bringing a, a, a message, bringing a way out of this system before you can even address the intellectual part of that address your, your 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 state of your state of being your physical state your health address your health first address the way you eat first go 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 do a 90 day cleanse and then come back and talk to me but some of you you cannot even some of you you cannot even think intellectually why because you are eating food genetically modified and so your dna is being altered your dna is altered because the food is altered and so i can't talk to an altered mind you understand what I'm saying? And so a lot of you Negroes, when, when there's some, you genetically modified Negroes, when there's someone, a leader who comes out, look like us, represents us, and show us how to get out of this system, how to escape this realm, how to escape this lower self, how to escape getting out of this, this, this consciousness that we are stuck in, this paradigm that we are stuck in. Every time we find someone, we find fault with that person. We always find fault with that person. We never find reason to just say, you know what? Let me follow my heart because what he's speaking speaks to my heart. Let me follow my heart and go with this person and what he is saying. Let me go with what this person is saying because what he is saying is what's in my heart. But a lot of you find fault in the leader who brings the message. Why? Because, see, because he doesn't look like God. And, and, and this is the thing you, you miss out on. Here's what you miss out on. You think that. Let me say what I said yesterday. I said that you keep looking for you keep looking for a godly man instead of looking for God in your man. You keep looking for a godly man instead of looking for God in your man because God is spirit and spirit is in man. Spirit is in me. Spirit is in you. And so that means God is in me. God is in you. So you keep looking for a godly man instead of looking for God in your man. And the way you know that God is in your man is when your man is reigning supreme over himself, over his lower self. When he has raised his level of consciousness to a higher elevation. When he has raised his level of consciousness to a higher ele elevation. That is a man being God supreme. A lot of you keep saying, I'm looking for a godly man. And you have this image of God and then your man separate of God. You have an image of God and your man separate of God. When the two don't make sense. Why? Because God is spirit and, and spirit lives within man. So when you keep looking for a godly man, stop separating God from man and put man in God. Stop looking for God in your man and start looking for, stop looking for your man to look like God and look for God in your man. Look for God in your man. And because when you see a man who does come in the image of God, because God say, let us make man in our likeness, in our image. And when a man comes speaking supreme, when a man comes speaking godly, when a man comes speaking that God supreme knowledge, you find fault because, see, the, the problem you find fault with it is this. You're a genetically modified Negro. I call you a GMN, a genetically modified Negro. You are genetically modified. You do not have the capacity to understand the language because of the food you eat, number one. 
because of the food you eat, number one. Number two, because of the thoughts of other people around you and what they do. Because of the thoughts of other people around you and what they do and who they are. And so you are genetically modified all the way around the belt. You are genetically modified all the way around the belt. I brought my, I brought my staff with me today because the spirit warrior has been brought out. The spirit warrior has been brought out. I brought my staff with me today. Because I'm about to address a lot of you genetically modified Negroes. A lot of you, ne you Negroes out there finding fault with teachers like the Honorable. I need you to go and look up the Honorable Master Teacher. Look up Carbonation. And go look up Carbonation and look at what they are doing over in Carbonation. Go look at the Master Teacher Nature Boy who is doing exactly what I've been speaking of but doing it even better than me. Because he's elevated himself to a level of understanding that it is not fighting within the system that we must stay in the system. It is leaving the system that we become our higher selves, that we become God supreme, that we become all time reigning supreme beings. But none of us will never understand that. Number one, because I see a lot of you who comment on my page and I go to your page and I don't even go to your page to comment. I just go to look at who the person is and I see videos of you still eating McDonald's like what? Like you eat McDonald's, like I stopped eating McDonald's almost 10 years ago. I stopped eating McDonald's damn near 10 years ago. You still eat McDonald's? Like you, you're not even past the level of consciousness to understand that even McDonald's is just not good for you. Let alone the food that they give you in the supermarket. Let alone the fruit and the, and the food that they give you in the supermarket. You don't even have the understanding that the fast food is even bad. How can I even talk to you when you don't even have the level of understanding that fast food is bad for you? The fast food is bad for you. <clears throat> and then you, <clears throat> let me drink my tea. And then you don't even have the capacity to understand that the food in the supermarket is bad for you. You understand? So a lot, so to you genetically modified Negroes, you GMNs, you get problem, you find problem, you found fault with Mark, Malcolm X. You found fault with Malcolm X. You didn't like, you didn't like what he was saying. You all, you all brought up, every time they bring up Malcolm X, they bring up his past, how he was a criminal, a thief, a hustler. Every time they bring up Martin Luther King, they always got to bring up how he was a womanizer. Huh? They always got to bring up his past. So he had many different wives, but what the fuck did he do for the people? Did he, did he not, did he not wake you up? See, there's a lot of movements that come our way. But as we progress within the higher consciousness realms of this, 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 this reality right now, as we progress, meaning as as the time keep, keeps coming and keeps coming and keeps coming, we wake up more and more and more and more. We wake up <clears throat> more and more and more and more. And the more we wake up, the more we wake up, the more we are returning back to our higher selves the more we wake up the more we return back to our higher selves but we will never wake up number one you got let me say this again you 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 bash Mark, malcolm x when he brought the message you bash martin luther king when he brought the message huh and you accepted those who kept you docile you accept those who keep you stagnant you accept those who keep you going nowhere you bash Dr. Umar Johnson, who <clears throat> had a plan to bring forth something of our own. But then you now you bash another teacher of ours of this day and age of this generation, the teacher that is going to take over and show you what it's truly like to go back to a time where we were supreme beings. And this is returning to nature. This is going back. <clears throat> to a natural state of mind. This is going back to nature. And you're going to find that there are teachers like the honorable master teacher, nature boy, and carbon nation, showing you the way, showing you how to do it. And there are some of you who are going to bash what I'm saying because of who I represent. Because I represent God. Because I represent, because God is nature. I represent God because God is nature. 
and therefore I live my life a natural man from the dirt you came from the dirt you shall return Ecclesiastic said I am from the living soil so I represent the living soil I eat from the living soil I eat from the tree I eat from the earth I, I put the tree in the background for a purpose so that you know that this is who I am this is who you are when you see this video when you see me go live you need to make a connection to this right here because this is me and I am that I am the I am the natural living breathing soil. I come from the dirt. I come from the earth. I will return back to the dirt. From ashes to ashes to dust to dust. When you come to this level of understanding, you will come to the knowledge of knowing that it is nature that we must go back into. It is going back to eating organic to return back to our higher selves. It is going back to living amongst nature to return back to our higher selves. It is going back to, and number one, let me say this, let me say this too. We must, listen, we must stop feeding the system. We must stop feeding the system. You see, we perpet look at the law of per perpetual transmutation of energy. The, the universal law of perpetual transmutation of energy is the more you feed it, the more it keeps going. The more you feed it, the more it keeps going. The more you feed the, the, the fight of racism, protesting, the more that they are going to continue to do things to keep you what? Keep you fighting and protesting. This is the law of perpetual transmutation of energy. Universal law. I tell you, these laws cannot be broken. And so you will, when you come to the understanding of universal and natural law, how these laws are unbreakable, you will start to live by those laws and the laws will honor you for living by those codes. And you will not have to be what? In treason of breaking man's law. You will not be in treason of breaking man's law. Why? Because you live beyond man's law and man's law are flawed. And when you look at the word flaw, there's the word law. Man's laws are flawed. You understand, but universal law and, and, and natural law is, is, is discipline. It is structured. It is, it is divine. It is organized and it is unbreakable. I live by these laws and a lot of you GMO, you genetically modified Negroes. I say GMNs, genetically modified Negroes. The problem with you is this. And a lot of you, I know a lot of you ain't going, a lot of you ain't going, um, or you ain't, you ain't going to be here any longer and you may hit the unfollow button. I'm cool with that. But see, the spirit warrior had to come out today and speak to you straight facts. OK, straight facts. Every time we get a leader that comes out, every time we get a teacher that comes out, you find fault with that teacher. You find fault with that leader and you got to go and dig into the past of that teacher to bring up what you think is making up the man who you see today. Hmm. I said, you go into the past and you bring up the fault of that teacher or the past of that leader and you make it have to do. You make it present. You make his past present of who the man is today. Hmm. A lot of you will never surpass your lower self because you are stuck there. You are stuck there. You will never surpass the lower self to 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 reach your higher state of consciousness, to reach that God supreme being, to reach that all God supreme state of mind. You will not get there. And some of you like to think that God is outside of man, but God is spirit and God is in man. God is in man. You need not to look for God outside of a man. You need to start looking for God in a man because that's where God lives. That's where God lives. God lives in man. So why am I separate of God? Why must I separate myself from God? God lives in man. Why must I separate myself from God? Hmm? Why must I say, oh, God is going to come and save us. God is going to come and save us. God is going to help us. Why must I speak like that? God is going to do this for me. No, I'm going to do it for me. Why? Because God say, speak forth as those things that are not as though they were. Speak forth those things that are not as though they were. I am speaking God's language. When I speak, I'm speaking God. That's the language. When I speak, when I say something, it is God's words, not mine. Because God is in me. God is in me. So I speak God. I don't know no other language. I speak only God language. You understand? So a lot of you genetically modified Negroes don't know how to speak God language. But you not raise your level of consciousness. Number one, you're not even gotten out of the 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 poison this mindset of eating McDonald's yet. You comment on my Facebook, you comment on my, my YouTube and you go to my YouTube channel and you comment because
I stand for I stand for righteousness. I stand for righteousness. And you go to my YouTube channel and you comment on my YouTube channel because I stand for righteousness. And then I go just look at your page and you eating McDonald's. You drinking soda. Huh? Like you've not even surpassed that level yet. How can I address you? I don't even think I can address you because you eat these. You still, you, you, you your brain is literally like mush. Your, 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 your spirit has been conjured of you long ago. You still eat McDonald's. Your spirit has been conjured of you long ago. I stopped eating McDonald's damn near over 10 years. You still eating McDonald's. You still eating fast food. You still eating genetically modified food. Not understanding that food has DNA in it. And not understanding that DNA is genetic code. And not understanding that genetic code is information. Not understanding that, the inf that, that they, can alter, they can alter the information in your food and chemical labs. Huh? They can alter the what? The DNA inside of a food, inside of food and chemical labs. Testing these things in chemical labs to do what? To have the understanding of how this chemical is going to alter your mind. This is why they alter your food. They don't just alter your food just to alter your food. They are altering your food because they want to alter your mind. They are purposely injecting chemicals that in these foods so that they know how to how it alters your mind. They know that soda does not. They know that the carbohydrate from soda does not. It makes you feel full, but you're not full. Carbohydrate inside soda makes you feel full. You ever drink a soda and you feel full? But you're not full. That's carbohydrates, empty calories. You're drinking empty calories. You're drinking things that have no substance in it. It makes you feel full. And yet you crave again another soda. And you crave again hunger again. You ever eat McDonald's and you be hungry 10 minutes later? Because, it's, because the food is, is not substance. The food is not substance. There's no substance inside the food. You understand? They understand this. They do this in food to alter the state of your being, your soul. They are conjuring your soul from you. So how can I even talk to you when you don't even have the level of understanding to stop eating the food that they are passing down to you? How can I even talk to you? Hmm? Because if, if you are eating altered food, then your mind is altered. Your soul has been gone. They've been conjured your soul. I can't speak to a soulless person. Your soul been gone. I need to speak with somebody with a mind. I need somebody with a mind I need to talk to. I need somebody with a spirit. I need somebody with a, who, who is in their higher self. Because that tells me you have gained your soul back. What is it to gain the whole world only to lose your soul? What is it to, what is it to keep eating the poisonous food only to get your soul conjured of you? Your soul is being conjured of you on a daily basis through television, through radio, through food, through people. Your soul is being conjured of you. Every single day, every time. And you got to control your environment. This is why I always say you are a reflection of your environment and your environment is a reflection of you. You understand me? You have to take back your soul. But a lot of you genetically modified Negroes, you are genetically modified. And this is the best terminology for you. This is the best terminology for you. Hmm? This is the best terminology for you to call you a genetically modified Negro. Because every time someone of our people come out and try to help us out of our situation, you find fault with that leader or that teacher. You find fault with that leader or that teacher. And you and you and you. And, and so therefore you listen, therefore you lose your salvation. Ooh. <laughs> let me say it again. Therefore, you lose your salvation because you find fault with teachers who don't look like a version of God. I keep saying this. Stop looking for God outside of man and start looking for God in man. Start looking for God in man. When you see man, you ought to see God there. Hmm? When you see man, you ought to see God there. God is not separate of man. Stop separating God from man. God is in man. God is spirit. The spirit is in man. Jesus said, I go, but I leave with you the Holy Spirit. Jesus said, I must go for the reason I came was what? To give you the Holy Spirit. I came to give you God supreme. I came to give you the Holy Spirit. Jesus said, I must go. But the reason he said, but I do not go without leaving you a helper, the Holy Spirit.
I will give you a helper. I will give you a helper. But you must first understand to, in order to in order to get this helper, you must understand that the helper is in me. What did Jesus say to the uh, people in the boat, to the, pro the disciples in the boat? What did Jesus say to the disciples in the boat? They got scared, right? The rains was coming. The, the waters was getting inside the boat. The, 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 the waves and the, the floods was crashing against the boat. They felt like they was about to sink. And what did Jesus say? They woke Jesus up. They woke him up. Wake up, teacher, teacher. Wake up, teacher, teacher. Oh, do you not care that we are about to drown? Do you not care that we are about to drown? And what did they say? What did Jesus say? Jesus woke up. What's going on? He said, how much longer must I be with you before you believe? Believe what? Believe that you have the power to speak these things that I'm about to speak. How much longer must I be with you before you start to believe? That you don't need me to call upon. The God supreme power is in you. Speak forth those things that are not as though they were. If you speak forth calmness, calmness comes. If you speak forth, if you speak forth a uh, uh, peace, peace comes. Peace I leave with you, not the peace of the world, Jesus said. Peace I leave with you, but my peace, but not the peace of the world because in the world you will have trouble. But in me, you will have peace. In me, in me, Jesus is within. The Christ conscious is within. The Christ conscious is within. In me, you will have peace. When you abide in me, he said, there I stand at the door and knock. Those who open up to me, what did he say? I will come into him. There I stand at the door and knock. Those who come into me, I will come into him. That's nature right there. That's power. You hear that? That is the power of mother. That is, that is the power of God. That is the power of nature. You hear in the background. Love it. I love it. Why? Because it's a reminder. It's a reminder of who God is. We are powerful, reign supreme. You understand? You lost in translation because you are lost in. Ooh. So you get lost in translation. When the teacher is speaking, because you're lost in transformation. Y'all need to quote that. Y'all need to quote that. You get lost in translation, the, the message, because you're lost in transformation. You are lost in transforming. You are lost in, in transforming. Hmm? Once you begin to transform yourself, then can you hear? Jesus said, they will seek teachers who that will give them what their itching ears want to hear. He said the time will come where they will not hear to sound doctrine. For they will seek teachers to give them what their itching ears want to hear. You want somebody that tickles your ears and make you feel good. You don't want the truth because the truth hurts. You don't want the truth because the truth makes you feel like you got to do something about your situation. You don't want the truth because the truth makes you come. The truth makes you get up and move. You want somebody to just tickle your ears and make you feel good. And so you become complacent, not understanding that those who are making you complacent are an extension of you. You are an extension of them. It's only because they are complacent. See, people that make you complacent is people who are complacent themselves. People who make you complacent are people who are complacent themselves. Once you start to get people who are about action, because the law of what? The law of cause and effect is there is never a, there is always whenever there's an action, there is always a reaction. Huh? Whenever there's an action, there is always a reaction. So you got people like the master teacher, nature boy, who got up and moved into nature and showed you the way of life. And then comes others with him. And then comes others who see it and say, this is the move that we must get into. This is the move that we must be about this is the move that we must join this is the move that we must build but you want people who will give you what your itching ears want to hear a lot of y'all don't want to get up and a lot of y'all don't want to get up and go you want to stay complacent in yourself and in the system you don't want to get up and move nowhere you want to stay here and there's nothing here there is nothing here that's going to get you to be at your higher self because the because the because of the the food is modified, the light is modified, huh? The light is modified, 
The ground is modified because they spray the ground with pesticides. They spray the ground with pesticides and reclaim water, which has methane gas in it. What kind of shit is that? You understand? And so you are, so everything around you in your environment is modified. Everything is modified. And so therefore you are a product of your environment. You are a genetically modified Negro because everything around you is modified. And you can return to a higher state of consciousness by getting yourself right. See, you will never be lost in translation once you start to transform yourself. A lot of you are lost in translation because you're lost in transformation. You don't know how to transform. You're lost. And you need someone to show you. You're lost and you need teachers to come about and show you how to transform. But you, 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 you bash and you berate and you downgrade and you downplay the messenger. You downplay the teacher because of what he looks like, or because of his past or because he don't look like a God to you. Well, you need to stop looking for God outside of man and start looking for God within man because God rests in man. Jesus said, I stand at the door and knock. Those who open up to me, I will come into him, into. So that tells me the spirit is within me. God said, let us make man in our image. So that tells me I am the image of God. I am the likeness. Likeness meaning identical. I am identical. When you see me, I ought to look like God to you. I ought to look like God. I ought to look like God. I ought to look identical to God to you. You understand? Because that's what likeness means, to be identical, to be made in the image. You ought to see God. So when I come to you and I bring a message and those of you who bash the messenger, you're, you're lost in translation. You're lost in the message because you're lost in transformation. You cannot transform because you don't want to start to, you don't want to operate and abide by the law of cause and effect. You don't want to take action so there can never be a reaction. If you take action in your health and eating right, eating organically, not clean, but pure, I always say eating pure is better than eating clean. Everybody can, anybody can eat clean. We're talking about eating pure from the earth, from the roots, from the soil, from the tree, from the limb, from the branch. Eat pure because this is your diet. And for those of you who, and those of you who bash the messenger, who come along, every generation, every generation has a messenger. Every generation has a messenger. You understand? Every generation has a teacher that comes along. Every generation has a messenger that comes and brings about the movement. They, Jesus said they, they will persecute you because they persecuted me. They will persecute you. He said, he said they will persecute you, but know that they first persecuted me. You got you. We we're going to get persecuted for this message because everybody don't like the message. The Pharisees and the Sadducees did not like the message Jesus was bringing. They asked Jesus. He said, Jesus said to them, why do you seek to stone us? And Jesus said, what? He, he, Jesus said, why, Jesus said, why do you seek to stone me? He said, because you claim to be God. The Pharisees said, because you claim to be God. And he said, have I not said you are also God? Have I not said you are God? What's the problem here? I ain't saying I'm the only God here. I'm saying we are all God because God is within. What did he say? Huh? What did he say in the boat to the disciples? He said, how much longer must I be with you before you believe? Believe what? Believe that you have the power to calm those storms, to calm the waves, to calm the seas. You have the same power that I'm about to display before you. You have this same power. Why do you not believe that yet? How much more longer must I be with you for you believe it? I, I, Jesus said, I need to go in the sin. I'm ready to ascend. But you keep pulling on me. But he said, I will leave you. But I do not leave you without a helper, which is the spirit. So some of you look for the spirit. You look for God outside of man and not look for God within man. And therefore you become a genetically modified Negro. And I'm calling out my black people because it is you who always have the leader that come. There's always a leader that come for black people. There's never, you look at any, go look at, go look at any other race on this planet and tell me who they, t name their leader for me. I, I can only name you one. I can only name you one. Mahatma Gandhi came for the people of India. I can only name you truly one leader. I mean, you have philosophers, but they weren't leaders. You had, you had philosophers who were writing things, who were lecturing. You got great philosophers always writing and lecturing. But never a leader, never a, never a Mahatma Gandhi, never one who is to stand and, and willing to die and 
you, and, and you got also Mother Teresa. You got M Mother Teresa who came for the Jews, who came for the, uh, the uh, children of Calcutta. That was also in India. So you got Mother Teresa, a poor a Jewish woman. You got you got Mahatma Gandhi. OK, I'm talking about name their leaders, name that race, because Mother Teresa was an Indian, even though she was over there helping the people of India. She was an Indian, but she didn't even help her own race. She didn't even do it for her own race. She did it for a whole nother race of people. But go and name me a leader of any other race besides Mahatma Gandhi. Because if you say Nelson Mandela, he was our leader too. Even over here in America, he was our leader. He was the leader of African people. So you could say Nelson Mandela and he would, he would represent us. I'm talking about name a leader of any other race that gets up and stands up before the American before the American public, before the American culture, before the American society, name one. And, and, and let me tell you something, nine times out of ten, you're not going to be able to name a leader, you're going to be able to name a revolutionary. Che, che Guevara of Cuba. You're going to be able to name revolutionaries. You understand? People who revolt against the system, like a Che Guevara. You're not going to be able to find, you're not going to be able to find leaders who do it in the in the nonviolent way, sometimes we're gonna have to have those leaders who are gonna come in the in the in, and bring you pain, and pain, but also bring you a movement. And the pain ain't always physical. The pain is more so action. He's pushing you to get up and do something. You have Martin Luther King, Malcolm X, who all came with action. And you also had other teachers of our generation, like a Dr. Umar Johnson. But you all blew him away he came with the knowledge he, he he came with the knowledge but his implementation was still off he came with the knowledge but his implementation wasn't all right now you got one you got to be about action and don't worry don't worry i already got my ticket i've already got my exodus plan so don't worry you can look at me and say, but where are you? Why are you still here and all this stuff? But let me tell you something. I've already got my ticket ready to go. So my plans are already in set in motion. I've already set myself in motion to get up out of here and do what I need to do to not only elevate myself to a higher level of consciousness, but come back for those. But, 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 but look at those who are willing to go and come with me and say, this is the move. This is the move. You will never be able to leave because you will never you will always get lost in translation because you are lost in transformation you don't know how to transform yourself and it is because you are genetically modified and i talk to my black people i say genetically gmn genetically modified negro you are a genetically modified negro because you are the one who have all the teachers that come and stand before the American government. You are the one who has all the teachers that come and stand before the American public. You are the one who has all the teachers and stand before the people and willing to risk their lives and put their lives on the line and die for you. You are the one African American. You are the one black people. You are the one African. You are the one who always have the leader to come and stand before the public eye and put themselves in jail. Nelson Mandela, Martin Luther King, Malcolm X and risk their families death of their families and you are the same you you Negroes are the ones who come yeah I brought yeah I brought my staff with me today because I'm, I'm on my spirit warrior shit right now I'm on my spirit warrior shit right now you understand it, it's time for me to become the spirit warrior that I already know I am so I got my staff with me today because some of you need a verbal ass whooping and some of you need a wake-up call not everybody needs a verbal ass whooping. Some of you need a wake up call, but I am whooping ass and taking names. I'm whooping ass and taking names right now. I'm calling on those who is ready to go. And I am whooping ass those who don't know how to even hear. They have, they have no hearing. Huh? You have no understanding. You have no hearing. So what did Christ say? You will. He said the time will come where they would not adhere to sound doctrine. But they will seek teachers to give them what they itching ears want to hear. You want to hear something that tickles your bones and your fancy. You want to stay docile and complacent. You want to stay stagnant in, 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 in non-movement. You want to stay in place. You don't want to go nowhere. I'm glad I found the master teacher nature boy. I'm glad I found carbonation 
because he was speaking. He, I, I found him because I live on that vibration and that frequency. And because I found him living on that vibrational frequency, it was already the language I spoke. But it so happens to be, but it now so happens to be that the language he speak and I speak, now I see a movement behind it. And it's like, yo, I got to move now. I got to do something because here's someone showing me how to move. You know why I stayed complacent and stayed docile in movement? Because those who were bringing the message were complacent and docile and inactive, inoperable of moving. I found one now who brings a movement, who brought about moving, moving, getting out of the system, smart resistance, leaving the system, stop fighting and protesting. Stop fighting and protesting because you are operating within the law of perpetual transmutation of energy. That means you are keeping it going. But if you want to get somewhere, you got to raise your level of consciousness, keep that energy going so that you can keep going and getting somewhere. So that you can keep going, getting somewhere. So that you can keep going, getting somewhere. Study the law of the law of perpetual transmutation of energy and understand what it means to be moving. If you start to move in a direction, the energy will go before you. If you start to move in a direction, the energy will go before you and set a path already open for you because you are moving in the direction and you have now what? You have transmuted an energy out. This is the law of perpetual transmutation of energy. When you go, when you set forth the path and you say, I am going and I am going this way. Then you set the energy before you, not behind you. You set the energy before you to open up the doorways, to open up the passageways. And they will become open for you. And you will begin to see doors open because you start to move. Because the law of perpetual transmutation of energy says that the moment you take a step, we will take a mile in front of you and, the, and open a path for you. Because you are projecting a energy before you. You are projecting a energy before you. And so now, let me sip my tea real quick. And so now when you move, so now when you move, you are doing the divine, you are doing yourself a divine uh, service. You are doing yourself a divine service. Hmm? You are doing yourself a divine service. Give me a second, y'all. Hold on. I got to I got to bust a move real quick. Hold up. I got to bust a quick move. Don't go nowhere. Don't go nowhere. Hmm? I said, don't go nowhere. I'm here. Wait a minute. This is divine messaging. This is divine message right here. Hold on. All right, let's set this up. I want to make sure you can see me. Okay. Huh? All right, here we go. We back on. We back on. I had to make sure she didn't die on y'all. Mm. Okay. Stay there, y'all. Stay there, stay there, stay there. Stay there. All right. Now. Good, good. I had to plug the charger in. I'm sorry y'all got the, it's, the setting has changed, but my phone was dying. Sorry the setting changed, but my phone was dying, so I had to get y'all, I had to get right. But I wanted to address y'all. Huh? 
I wanted to address y'all. Huh? I had to address y'all. And helping you understand this law. There we go. So now, I'm gonna keep saying and keep going on what I was saying about you, 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 you who, you who are finding fault with teachers who come our way and bring a message to lead us up out of our what, out of our stagnation, up out of our complacency, up out of our non-movement. Hmm. This is the law of what transmutation of perpetual energy as i spoke on it is going to take someone to cause a movement to do a to to move it's going to take someone to move for there to be a move someone has to move on our behalf and every time someone moves on our behalf the first thing you do is find fault you dig into a person's past and you look at a person's history and you look at what a person don't have or what degree they have or what knowledge they don't have and you want them to be a philosopher and this and a doctor and that and a master of this and a master of that and you're losing your way you're losing your salvation you're losing your salvation hmm because salvation because salvation is what? In the man, in the leader, in the teacher. You're not going to find your salvation outside of the teacher. Hmm? Yeah, I had to move. I had to get some lighting. I had to get some, I had to get my phone charged. So now I got light. The light changed. The situation changed. But it is what it is right now. I had to get, get, I get some light. I had to get some charge. I had to get my phone on the charger. Feel me? But we must go. And we must go and follow those who are doing the movement. We must go in and start it raining. So I'm, I'm back in. We must go and follow those who are doing what we claim we want to be done for us. But you get lost in translation because you're lost in transformation. Hmm? You get lost in translation. Because you're lost in transformation. You get lost in what someone is speaking. You get lost in the message of someone because you're lost in transforming your own mind. Number one, let me let me say this again. Number one, you're still eating McDonald's. I've seen you. I've seen you. Those of you who address me and you comment and you leave, you know, bad uh, um, comments on my YouTube channel and whatnot. And you get it and you come in at me, the one who bringing the message, you come in at Master teacher, nature boy, who is bringing the message. And what do you do? You call us and disrespect us out our name. And that's okay because names don't really harm me. But if, I, if, if we're to have a conversation, then you at least got to put down the McDonald's drink. You at least got to stop going to McDonald's and eating McDonald's food. I saw you. I saw you. I saw you eating McDonald's. And you coming at, you coming at leaders and you still drinking soda. I mean, what kind of... What kind of mess is that? Huh? Hmm? What kind of what kind of what kind of what kind of stuff is that that you you can't even you can't even leave the lower self to even raise yourself to a higher state of consciousness. You can't even leave the lower self. Because of the food, you don't understand the food is modified. When you pick up the understanding of that, then will your genes start to alter? Then when you start to return back to a supreme state and you will speak the language I'm speaking and you will not bash me for speaking this. You will speak the language I'm speaking and you will not bash me for speaking this. You understand? You will say to me, yo, that's true because I know that truth. That's true because I live that knowledge. But a lot of you get mad at the messenger. A lot of you get mad because the messenger doesn't have the image of the of, of, of God. He don't look like a God to you. But you keep separating, you keep separating man or, or God from man. You keep separating God from man. When God is in man. You understand me? God is in man. Stop separating God from man. So you could wake yourself up understand that God is supreme and so when someone shows up looking supreme when someone shows up 
being supreme. When someone, when someone shows up talking supreme, talking the language of God, you understand that language. But Jesus said, though, there will come a time where they will not adhere to sound doctrine, meaning truth, because they will what? They will seek teachers to give them what their itching ears want to hear. You want entertainment. You want BET. You want love and hip hop. You want, you want, you want uh, um, black ink. That's what you want. You want power and empire. You want entertainment. You want actors. You don't want truth. You don't want a messenger to come in truth. They, they, they got mad. They got mad at Jesus for coming to break up their, their system. Because they was, Jesus was bringing truth. They got mad at Jesus for saying, man, look, there's, there's an order here. There's, there's a way here that we do things. We don't need you coming to, to disrupt that, man. We don't, we don't like that. When someone comes and disrupt your way of life, it upsets you. It upsets you. You don't like when someone comes and disrupt your way of life. You don't like when someone comes and bring you knowledge and truth. You don't like when someone comes and bring you nothing but facts. You question those facts. Hmm? You question facts. Because you know facts is facts. You don't question, you don't question the bullshit. You don't question the you don't question when someone when someone listen, let me let me let me, let me say this. When someone is out there entertaining you with keeping you in your lower self, when someone's out there entertaining you with knowledge that doesn't help you grow, information that doesn't make you move, when someone is out there and they're just bringing others down, their message and their teachings and what they are doing, that tells me something about you. It tells me you don't want to grow. You don't want to learn more about yourself. You don't want to go anywhere. You want to stay where you are. You are comfortable with the situation you are in. And that's because of the carbohydrates inside of the soda you drink. It's keeping your brain at a standstill. It's keeping your mind at a... This is how they conjure your soul. Through the, through the eating of your food by chemically changing the DNA code inside the, inside the eating of, inside your food. And so, then, and so then what happens? And so then your mind stays like... On, at a, uh, at what is it called? Like a... Uh, What's that word I want to that I want to say? But it stays on this plane of um, damn it, the word I'm looking for. But you don't grow. You you are at a, you are at, you reach your altitude. You are at an alt. You at, this is what they call it, an alt state. You are at an alt state of mind. You are at an alt state of mind, meaning you have you are at a you are at an altitude. You are at an altitude where you don't elevate no more. You are cruising at this one altitude, and they keep you at an alt state. They keep you at an alt state of mind. But you are always staying on the same level. You never grow. You don't get anywhere else. You don't grow. You don't surpass. You stay at an alt state of mind. That's you. That's you who bring these messages against the teachings of what you know to be fact and truth. You hate the teacher. You hate the messenger. And you hate the fact that he's bringing facts. And so I had to come in my God supreme. I had to come in my God supreme being today. Looking for my, my teeth. I had to come with my God supreme knowledge today to wake a lot of you GMNs up, you genetically modified Negroes. Because you are the ones attached to the Bible in such a way that you think that the salvation is in the book. You think the salvation is in the book. But salvation is in those who come before you. Salvation is not in the book. The teachings are in the book. But salvation is in the leader. Salvation is in the man. Salvation is in the one who takes the action. That's why Jesus had to come. Because he knew that the knowledge wasn't enough. The teachings wasn't enough. Jesus said what? You must pick up your cross or your ump. You must pick up your cross and die daily. You must pick up your cross. Understanding that it's going to be a crucifixion. Every single day when you pick up this message. And you walk with this message. Jesus said the teachings wasn't enough. Jesus had to become and man. God had to become man. God had to become man in order to show you that it's going to take more than teaching because the educational system is part of the reason why you're stagnant. It's making you believe you are this educated person. It's making you believe that you are growing. It's making you believe that you're getting somewhere when you're living within their system and you're getting nowhere. How many? Look at the statistics on master degree teaching. Educated people, how many jobs they got? 
How many jobs do these master's degree te students got? And let's not even look at the stats of black people. Look at the stats of those who graduated with master's degrees, doctor degrees, and let's go in to look at the jobs they don't got. Because a lot of them ain't got jobs. Huh? Why? Because, because a bunch of reasons, but let me give you a few. One, they are controlling your, you are at an alt state. They are going to keep you at that alt state. You are not going to surpass them to the level of reigning supreme over them in their, in, on their land, on their turf, in their country. You're not going to reign supreme over them. The best thing you can do is do what I do. Isolate yourself from those who don't, from those who are not on your frequency. Isolate yourself from those who are not on your frequency and isolate yourself from those who don't have a plan or a movement. Isolate yourself from those who are not about action and moving. Isolate yourself from those who are willing to stay within the system and stay docile and stay stagnant and stay at an alt state of mind. They don't, they don't, they don't elevate. They only stay at this one state. You understand? Isolate yourself and get with those who are on your frequency, understanding this God language. Raise your, uh, raise your, your, your level of consciousness to a higher state of being and supreme knowledge. Jesus had to come because the teachings wasn't enough. He knew that he had to come. He said, this is, he said, I must go, but this is the reason why I came. They, they begged Jesus not to, they, his, his teachers, his disciples begged him not to go and address Caesar and address his, um, his, his critics because he knew, they knew that he was going to get crucified. And Jesus said, I must go, but this is the reason I came to die, to die for what? To die to bring you back to who you are. To die to bring you back to your higher self. To die to bring you back to a supreme state of being. To die to bring you back to this knowledge and information. I came to breathe. I came to be the knowledge. I came to fulfill the law, Jesus said. The law. The law of what? The law of nature. The law of what? The laws of the universe. Unbreakable laws by set by not, not set by man. Unbreakable laws not set by man. I came to fulfill the law. Huh? Understanding that we have the laws that Jesus brought, which was the nine fruits of the spirit. Love, gentleness, kindness, meekness, humbleness, compassion, self-control. We are going to have to be these things because these things are nature. These things are nature. Stop looking for a savior outside of man. Jesus came in man form to show you it's going to be a man to lead you out of this hell you're in. It's going to be a man. It's going to be a man to lead you out of the hell that you are in. You are in a perpetual state of transmutation energy. You are in a perpetual state of hell. They are continuing the energy to keep you in hell. You are going to stay in hell because they kept you at an alt state by altering your food, altering the information that you get from the sun, altering the information that you get from your food, which the food gets the information from the sun, understanding that your food eats from the sun. Photosynthesis. Photosynthesis is light information, light codes, information, DNA that goes back to you, your genes. Your food is... Your food is a living organism that has living organisms inside of it. So when you eat, you are basically eating live information to do what? To return back to the higher state of knowledge and supremacy, of knowledge and supremacy. But a lot of you GMNs, you genetically modified Negroes are altered. You're altered. Because your food is altered. You still eat McDonald's and you still drink Canada Dry Soda. You still drink sodas and you still eat McDonald's. I went to your page. I saw what you eat. You, 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 you disrespect me and call me out my name and tell me all kinds of things that I am on my, on my, on my channel. And yet it is you. And yet I laugh because it's you. I look at it and say, well, damn. How can I even address you when you're still eating McDonald's? My, 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 come on, homie. Come on, girl. What are you doing? You want, you want to, if you want to argue with me intellectually, 
If you want to even claim to be an intellectual, if you want to even claim to be supreme, if you want to even claim to have any kind of knowledge, the first thing you need to do is start opening, waking up yourself to the food that you are eating. Wake yourself up to the food that you eat. And then can you start to even return back to your higher self to even address me? Because I'm not going to talk to you if your food, if you're still eating altered food, food that is killing you at its lowest vibration. McDonald's is the lowest of the low, let alone the food in the supermarket. McDonald's is the lowest. I can see if you was eating, you know, a store bought, you know, hamburger or something you just made at the house. But you over there eating McDonald's and you addressing me? You calling me out my name? Come on, I, I, I already know this state got this country got you at an alt state. You are you are not awake here. You are you are gone. You are dead. You're dead to yourself. You're dead to yourself. Don't even address me because you can't. You can't address me. So so for those of you who find the messenger, the messenger comes and you what? You don't want the message. You want the entertainer. You want the ones who keep you at an alt state. You want the ones. You want the entertainment. You want the ones that give you what your itching ears want to hear. Second Timothy. Huh? You want the ones that give you what your itching ears to make you feel good and make you do nothing. And But Mark, Malcolm X challenged you. The Black Panthers challenged you. They, they at least challenged you to get up and move. And you didn't even move. They at, least, at least they had the capacity to even move. You didn't even move. Now you got teachers who are showing you the way. Showing you the way, the way to get out of your state, your alt state, with the knowledge and the information. YouTube carbonation. YouTube carbonation. YouTube carbonation. And go and get the knowledge over at carbonation. And I guarantee you, see, if you want teachers, I'm giving you a teacher. If you want teachers, I'm giving you a teacher. If you want teachers, I'm giving you a teacher, one who teaches. Because a teacher is to live the message. You understand? You got, you got, you got speakers and you got teachers. They call Jesus teacher. They, they, refer, they call Jesus teacher. They say, teacher, teacher, do you not care that we're about to perish? They call Jesus teacher. Jesus was one, a teacher is one who shows the way, knows the way, and goes the way. Let me say it again. A teacher who, huh? So once you find you a teacher who show you the way with the knowledge, and then they know the way because they know where to go. They know the way. They know the, they know the areas, the topics between Capricorn and Cancer. Where you return back to your higher state of mind. And then they go the way. They show the way. They show you the way. Teaching it to you. They know the way by telling you to come with me. And then they go the way. Whether you go or not, I'm going. Find you a teacher who is about going the way. Find you a teacher who is about going the way. Jesus was a teacher that was about going the way. But you all, but you all came down and, 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 and you and you crucified Jesus. And you crucify any teacher that comes in the name of Jesus. That comes in the name. So when I told you, when I came into when I told you I come in the name of Christ, you all got confused and butthurt about it because you don't understand that Jesus and Christ is two different people. You don't you understand that Jesus was the man who brought the Christ message. You don't even understand that. Christ was the message. Christ was the message. Jesus was the man who brought the message. Huh? Christ was the message. Jesus was the teacher of the Christ message. Acts 17.3. They called him Jesus the Christ. Jesus the messenger. Go and look this up. Acts 17.3. They call him Jesus the messenger. Jesus the Christ. So who is the Christ? The messenger. Who is the messenger? I am the messenger. Master teacher, nature boy is the messenger. There ain't many of those who are messengers. But those who are messengers are bringing you a way, a path, a knowledge, a way of getting out. 
and you're lost. You're lost. And why are you lost? Why are you lost? You're lost because of you 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 bash the you 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 are lost in translation. You are lost in translation. You are lost in translation. So therefore there is no transformation. Hmm? You are lost in translation. So therefore there is no transformation. How can you transform your mind? Your soul. When your soul is being conjured of you. Why? Because biology one on one. Simple stuff. Biology one on one. Let me give it to you. Food. Your food has DNA in it. Your food has genes in it. DNA. Your food. Your DNA is genetic codes. DNA is information. Look. this. Watch forensic files. If you watch anything like forensic files. Then you will know that DNA is information. When they cover recover evidence from a crime scene, they can tie it back to a person as long as they got their DNA. Why? Because the DNA of the evidence that they have and the DNA that is inside you tells them, hey, they it's, it's, it's communicating a language to them. This is the information right here. This person the, and the evidence is the same person. That's communicating a language, information. Biology, biology 101 is your food is alive. Your food is live information. Why? Because your food go again, biology, simple biology 101. You took this in science class. Photosynthesis is what? Photosynthesis is light. Light comes from where? The sun. Your food receives light from the sun. What is photosynthesis? What is light? Go look up light. Go look up the etymology word of the word light. And there you will find information. Light is information. Go look up the etymology of the word light, and there you will find the word information. Light is information. And what is information? Go look up the etymology of the word information, and there you will find awareness. Food is to bring you back to a higher state of awareness. But some of you are eating, and they know this. They know this. And some of you are eating genetically modified food, altered food, so you stay at an alt state. You will stay at an alt state. That means an altitude plane where you do not elevate your mind. You do not elevate yourself. You will stay at an alt state because your food is genetically altered. Your food is genetically modified. And what you are eating is is, is genetically modifying the genes inside of you. You are eating genes when you eat food. DNA, which is information. And it changes the DNA information inside of you. And so therefore you are what? Being altered to what? The information that they who genetically modify the food, spraying it with pesticides, spraying it with... um, Watering it with, with water, reclaim water that is being pumped from your your, your water plant that, 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 that is fueled by methane gas, which is dangerous for you. This is why you're not supposed to smoke cigarettes, because there's methane in cigarettes. Why? Your mama always say, go to the store and give me a pack of Newport menthol. Menthol is methane. You're smoking methane gas. Dangerous gas. And when you eat food that is genetically modified, you are intoxicating you are intoxicating methane gas because it is through the reclaimed water that they control our food. The food in this environment is controlled by what? Gas houses. Not greenhouses. Gas houses. This is what they call them. Gas houses. Because greenhouse is to say that our food is fed through oxygen and light. But they modify our food by keeping them in gas houses because it is sprayed with what? Reclaimed water. And reclaimed water is pumped from where? Reclaimed water is pumped from systems, water systems that is pumped by that is you and people and gas. And gas is what? It comes in many, it comes in four different, it comes in four different phases. Liquid, ox, uh, uh, liquid vapor, Huh? Gas can come in four different phases. Um, what's the other two? It's liquid, vapor, something else. I forget the other ones. I actually got it written down. But gas comes in many different, four different phases. Four phases 
of gas. And so when your food is being pumped and sprayed by water systems that is fueled by methane gas, that is watered by methane gas, you understand me? The vapors are getting inside your food. They know this. They know this. The vapors are getting inside your food. And so you are, you are, you are at a very low state of consciousness. This is why it's important to eat organically, eating a pure diet. Go back and eat pure again so that you can start to receive natural light codes from the sun. Because it is through the sun that our food is fed light. Light is photosynthesis and light is information. You will come to a higher state of awareness. Go look this up. Let me break it down again. Let me break it down simple biology for you one more time. You ready? Okay. Here we go. The sun gives off photosynthesis that feeds your food. Huh? Photosynthesis is what? Liquid light or light. It is light. Light is what? Information. Information is what? Awareness. All you got to do is do some simple study. Information is awareness. Your food is to bring you back to a higher state of awareness. This is what your food is supposed to do. Bring you back to a higher state of awareness. But you keep eating. I, I, I said this before. I said this before. How can you. How can you. Eat anything. How can you. Eat anything like. And I'm talking about meat. How can you say. Oh this meat is good. It got all these probiotics in it. And it got all these um, enzymes in it and stuff. Let me tell you something. How can you eat anything. <laughs> It says it's good for you when it's dead. How can anything dead be good for you? <laughs> How can anything dead be good for you? I don't get it. It's dead, my it's, it's dead. How can it be good for you when it's dead? It's dead. It cannot be good for you in any way or capacity. It's dead, and everything in it is dead. Everything in it is dead. Everything in your meat that you eat is dead. There is nothing alive about your meat. There is nothing alive about your... There is no fresh meat. Oh, this, this chicken is fresh. Fresh how? Fresh? What do you mean fresh? Fresh how? This chicken is fresh. Oh, this beef is fresh. Fresh what? You mean you just fresh killed the life of it? You just freshly killed the life? That's what you mean fresh? Like you just killed the life of this, this, this cow? You just killed the life of this bull? You just killed the life of this calf? What fresh what? Like you just killed it? Meaning you stop all the the in, you stop all the the, the 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 DNA thing in it that keeps you alive? You just cut off the genes? You just cut off the life of the genes? A dead like that? You mean fresh like that? There's nothing dead. There's nothing fresh about anything dead. Dead is dead. And those of you who bash, those of you who bash a messenger who brings forth the message, it's because listen to me, you are I'm about to say something. Those of you who bash a messenger, it is because you yourself are dead. Mm. You are dead. Your soul been conjured of you long ago. Because you're eating food that is altered. Your food is altered. And you keep eating food that is altered. And because your food is altered, they know what they're doing in these chemical test labs. Why do you think they put why do you think they test it first? Why do you think why do you think they do recalls on a lot of these meats. Why do you think you got, why do you got the bird flu? Why do you got swine flu? Why do you got mad cow disease, huh? Huh? And let me tell you why you, you get, you get E. coli in your, in your, in your plants. You want to know why you get, I'm about to say something, I'm about to teach y'all something real right now. Why is there E. coli in romaine lettuce? Like there was a recall on romaine lettuce. Not that long ago. There was a recall on ro romaine lettuce. Why is, and this is in your supermarkets, not your organic food stands. Listen to me carefully. This only happens in your supermarkets, not your organic food stands, which is why I shop. Why would there be a such thing as an E. coli breakout in your romaine lettuce? Well, let me tell you why. Because E. coli comes from fecal. E. coli comes from fecal matter. Okay. And so what happens is your fecal matter, listen to me. Your fecal, your poop, huh? Your poop is what? And I'm telling you 
why you bash teachers. This is my message is about why you bash a messenger. I'm telling you, I'm giving you the root cause of why you are so at an alt state of mind. Why you don't transform and you bash the the tra- why why you bash the um you why you are lost in translation is because you are lost in transformation and this is why you don't you can't transform. So before you can bash a teacher, let me teach you why you cannot transform and understand this language, okay? Let me school you real quick. Here we go. Number one, your poop is the living soil. Your poop is the living soil. Huh? This is why when you poop yourself in middle school, they say you soil yourself. Remember that terminology in school? When you poop your pants, they say, oh, Johnny soiled himself. That's because your poop is your soil. Your poop is your soil. We are living plants. We are living plants. Your food, your your poop is your soil that should go back to the earth. And when you put your poop back into the earth, it turns over and becomes compost that feeds other plants. This is the real power plant. Your plants are the real power plants. Because when you return your poop, it turns over and becomes compost, which turns your food, which which powers plants. But what do they do? What do this corrupt, what do this mindless system do? They take your poop. They take your poop. And they send it down this pipe system. Right? They send it down this pipe system. And this pipe system takes it to what? A power plant. This pipe system sends it to a power plant. This is why your lights, this is where the power of your lights come from. The the water that comes out of your faucet is pumped by what? It's fueled by what? It is fueled by your poop. They take your poop and they convert it into methane gas. Methane gas powers the power plants it powers the power plants the water plants the nuclear plants and this is what powers your lights at home this is what powers your water at home this is what this is how your water pumps through your system through the gas through methane gas methane gas is found in your poop methane gas is in your poop but it becomes but, but methane gas should be turned over into compost huh they convert it they convert it into methane gas but in your poop there is so so when they take your poop and sends it through this flush this this pipe system they convert it into methane gas which becomes harmful and deadly huh which becomes harmful and deadly huh and then they use these water plants and nuclear power plants to power your homes with huh and they use it to do what Water your food with reclaim water. They water your food and your plants with reclaim water. Pump through water plants that is fueled by your poop, which got converted into methane gas. And that methane gas that is being pumped now into your poop causes E. coli because E. coli is found. E. coli is little bugs. E. coli is little little microscopic little microscopic uh uh, uh bacteria. That lives in your poop. Huh? That, that that does what? That eats at your poop. When you land it back in the soil. When you poop back. When you take your poop and you give it back to the soil. E. coli comes and eat up the nutrients out of that poop. And what is left. Gets converted back into soil. It gets converted back into soil. To do what? To be safe for you to eat again. So from your plants you eat, you can eat. So you can, listen to me. You can go in your backyard and you can poop over your backyard. And and, 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 and two weeks later, it will become compost. Because E. coli bacteria will start to what? Eat away at the poop. Huh? And convert what, and leave what's left back into the soil. And it will go back into the soil. And you can plant your food right in that. But instead they plant your food and grow your food from cow manure. Your food is being grown through cow manure. Huh? Your food, you your food comes from cow manure. Huh? And so you are eating and your mind is altered. Your mind is altered. And so when someone brings a message, these are the reasons why your mind is altered. Your soul has been gone from you. Your soul has been ejaculated out of you. They jacked your soul from you. They jacked your soul from you. How did they jack your soul from you? Well, by altering the information inside your food. Altering the information inside your food, they jacked your soul from you. 
Huh? Because they give you and feed you dead food. Food with no information in it. Food with no genetically my uh, genetic um life in it. No 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 genetic life in it. Food with no life in it. So they give you dead food. And what and you are what you eat. If you eat dead food, you are a dead person. You are a dead person. You are dead yourself. Your soul is conjured of you. This is how they keep you at an alt state. Never elevating. Because they alternate, they al they alternate the, the genes inside of the food, which alters your mind. They are they are injecting in the food what they want to happen with your with your glucose levels, with your with your with your um neurological levels and everything that has to do with your body. You understand? With your endocrine glands. You understand? They are they are altering what your endocrine clean endocrine glands are naturally supposed to do with a natural sugar that comes from an apple, with a natural sugar that comes from a, 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 a piece of fruit. They alter the genes inside of that, that, that fruit and the sugar. And so now you got diabetes is on the rise. And so now you got high blood pressure and sugar diabetes because you are eating a genetically modified food that is attacking your endocrine glands and attacking your glucose levels. So you don't have that. That naturally is supposed to do what? Take in sugar. It's supposed to take in sugar. But you eat an altered state of what they call sugar. White sugar. And you eat an altered state of food. And so it's altering the natural components of your body. And your body becomes what? Immune. To that foreign entity that is now taking over your body. And you become one with the food you eat. So you get addicted to certain type of foods like McDonald's. You eat McDonald's. And you become addicted. And you don't know why you love McDonald's fries. Why you love McDonald's ice. Why you love McDonald's sweet tea. Why you love McDonald's the Big Mac. Why you love. You don't know why you love these things. But I'm here to tell you and teach you and show you why you do. Because they are altering the food. And the food that your, your endocrine glands and, and your and your glucose is inside your body and your lymph, all these things are supposed to naturally take in natural sugars, natural food, natural stuff to handle, to be able to handle and distribute throughout the body where it's supposed to go. It's information inside that food. And the information tells your the components of your body where to send this, where to send this, where to send this, where to send this, where to send this and what to do with the rest. And therefore, you become altered. And so therefore, when you have a teacher who comes before you, bringing you a message, what happens to you is you don't even realize you are lost in translation. And, and the reason why you are lost in translation, because you are lost in transformation, because they transform the food you eat. You are lost in transformation. You are lost in transforming yourself. You will never transform because you are lost. And so when a teacher comes and brings you a message and tells you that I am God and tells you that because you look for God outside of man, I want me a godly man. I want me, oh, I want me a godly man. Well, stop looking for God outside your man and start looking for God within your man because God is in your man. And when someone brings the God message to you, he's not being God. He's not, that's not godly. God is in your man. Stop looking for God outside your man and look for, sorry, I checked these levels. All right. God lives in your man. God is spirit and spirit lives within your man. God is spirit and spirit lives in your man. God is in your man. So stop looking for God outside your man. Stop looking, stop separating the two. So when the messenger comes and brings you a message and tells you the message of God, this is the message of God, which is why I titled my new, my name Emoji, Enlightened Messenger of God. When the man brings you the message of God, you debunk or you try to debunk the message because you separate man and God instead of making man and God one. God and man is one. Stop separating man from God so you can grow and you can learn and you can know. But because you eat badly, your food is altered, your mind is altered, your soul is gone from you.
because you are eating lifeless food. You eat soulless food. Everything has a soul. Animals have a soul. And when you eat food with no soul, you are eating something dead. And because when you eat food with no soul, you eat food with no soul, you too become soulless. You too become soulless. You have no soul. They conjured your soul just like they conjured the soul of that animal by killing it. They kill you. They kill the soul by conjuring, altering the food you eat because they need you as a battery. They need you to keep programming and powering the system. They need you in the system to keep powering the system. So they conjure your food, take your soul from you so you don't realize who you truly are. And they tell you, go to work and do this and get this job and show up at this time and be here at this hour and you go to work and now guess what? Now you believe in the mindset that they've made you believe in. You believe that you need this job to survive and live when nature has everything you need. Nature, out that door, out that window, has everything that you need to survive, that you need to live, that you need to grow, that you need to nourish, that you need to, 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 to elevate yourself to a higher level of consciousness. Some of you will never, when a messenger comes and, and brings the message and he say, and he makes the, 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 and he makes the proclamation that this is the message of God, you bash the messenger because you're lost in translation. You get lost in translation and therefore you are lost in transformation. Quote that. You are lost in translation because you are lost in transformation. You can't even transform your mind from even eating McDonald's and drinking soda yet. How can I even talk to you? When you are still eating McDonald's, the lowest of the lowest type of food you can eat. You can get past. I stopped eating McDonald's 10 years ago. I stopped eating McDonald's 10 years ago. And, 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 and therefore, when I eat my food now, and, and when I was eating the food from the supermarkets, I still had a lot of growth and knowledge to go, go through. But when I began to eat pure, my thoughts become pure. My ways became pure. And God said what? No one can enter into no one. No enter into the presence of God impure. No, nothing impure can enter into the presence of God. Nothing impure can enter in the presence of God. You cannot be impure in thought. You cannot be impure in your ways. You cannot be impure and think you're going to be in the presence of God. I don't care how good of a Christian you think you are. God doesn't accept anything lifeless within in its presence. There is nothing lifeless about God. Everything about God is life. So how can you who eat Things that are lifeless be alive in God. Huh? How can you who eat lifeless food be alive in God? This is biology one on this is biology genetics one on one. This is genetics and epigenetics one on one. This is biology epigenetics one on one. You are what you eat as above, so below. As within is without. You are what you eat. And the messenger comes your way, brings you a message. And you bash the messenger. Because what reason? Because he doesn't have the image of God. Wait a minute. God said in Genesis 1 2, let us make man in our likeness, in our image. All you got to do is look up the word likeness. It means to be identical with God. Be identical. I am identical to God. So when I, so not, not, not only am I identical to God, I am made in the likeness of God. I am made in the image of God. So I, I should reflect what God should look like. So you keep looking for a, a man and God in two different areas. Instead of looking for God in your man. Start looking for God in your man. Because Jesus came to do what? Jesus said, I come to fulfill the law. I come to fulfill the law because the knowledge, the book wasn't enough. I got to fulfill it. I got to show you. I got to be about action because the universal law of cause and effect says there is no action without reaction. There must be an action for there to be a reaction. But it must be someone who is willing to go and leave. Excuse me, y'all. There must be someone who is willing to go. Know the way, show the way, go the way. There must be someone who is willing to go the way, to show us the way. There must be someone who is willing to go the way, to show us the way. So talking ain't going to always get it. Reading ain't going to always get it. Somebody got to get up and move. And somebody got to get up and go. 
so that there can be a reaction behind that. So that there can be a reaction behind that. You will never leave your state of awareness. Listen to me. What did I say again? Huh? Let's look at it again. Let's look at it again. Food, light is what? Your food is fed through what? Photosynthesis. Photosynthesis is light. Light is what? Look up the etymology world of light. Light is information. Look up the etymology world of information. Information is what? Awareness. Your food is to bring you back to a state of awareness. Your food is to bring you back to a state of awareness because you are eating information and information is light and light comes from the sun. And so you ought to be eating and replicating the sun, vibrating like the sun vibrates. You ought to be eating and vibrating at the highest frequency of the sun as the sun vibrates. The sun, the S-U-N. You ought to be vibrating at this level of frequency. Understanding this knowledge and a lot of you will not come into this knowledge because you are eating food that is dead. Your soul has been conjured of you by eating dead food. By eating dead food. And so you are dead. Your soul has been conjured of you. They didn't, they didn't do. See, Hitler, Hitler did it different. Hitler said, yo, fuck that. We just going to strap your ass down to this gurney and shoot this needle in your arm to, to alter your state of mind. But America said, no, America said, no, we can't just kill people that way. We got to do it a different way. Oh, here's the way. Let's do it through their food. Hitler said, no, we ain't going to waste our time doing it through our food. Hitler said, we ain't going to do it through. Hitler said, we ain't going to waste our time. We just going to strap your ass. We just going to bring soldiers in, strap your ass down to this gurney and shoot this needle in your arm. And this is how we're going to control your mind. Hitler did it that way. America said, no, we can't do it that way. We can't just, we can't go back to the Hitler way of life. Even though they would like to. They would, America would love to go back to the Hitler way of doing things. Because they are doing it right now. They're just not strapping your ass down to a gurney to do it. They're doing it through your food. They're doing it through your food. They're not strapping your ass down to a gurney like Hitler did. Hitler said we ain't going to waste time doing it through your food. We ain't going to waste time genetically modifying your genes through your food. We're just going to shoot your ass with this needle. How about that? Hitler said let's do it like that. But, but, but America said, no, we can't go back to that way of life. That we, we can't go back to killing people that way. Let's kill them a different way. Oh, let's conjure their souls from them. See, Hitler conjured the souls of people. So he was able to get who? Hitler was able to get who to follow him? The same people he killed. Hitler was able to get people who follow him, the same people he killed, to follow him. Hitler was able to do what? Even get the soldiers. Because they were all shot up. Hitler was able to get the soldiers to follow by him because they were all they were all mind control, and then he had he even had those who were who were who were killed for it. He even had those following him. Some was taken, but some followed too. Some was like yo because because under the mind control because under the mind control they were like yo I'm going the way this man is showing us. Just like Pharaoh in the Bible, the, 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 the slaves in the Bible when Moses was leading them out of the, out of Egypt. What happened with they? What happened with them? They thought they thought it was better to go back and be with Pharaoh because at least they had three meals and a place to sleep. They said, "Yo, Moses, it was better to go live with Pharaoh. At least we had three meals. At least we had a bed to sleep in, dog. We can't be out here in the wilderness wandering for forty years. What you doing to us, man? I'm setting your ass free. Is what I'm doing. I'm showing you in the wilderness, in the wild, in the jungle, in nature. This is where it belongs. This is where it's at. You're supposed to be out here and pray for men who will help from heaven will fall upon you." You're supposed to be in the wild. You're supposed to be in the wilderness. You're supposed to be out in the jungle, being led by God, being led by the North Star, which is the sun. Being led by the North Star. Oh, we getting all the way into it now. Being led by the North Star, which is the sun. But some of you, your minds are altered because of the food you eat. Because America said we can't go back and do it the way Hitler did it. We can, but we don't want to do it that way. We don't want to take the soul. So Hitler was taking the souls of his people by shooting them, strapping them down to a gurney and shooting them up with mind control substance. And so they were able to follow him easy without resistance. They were following him easy without resistance. The reason why you get mad at a messenger who comes to bring the message of God is what reason? 
It's because your soul has been conjured of you the same way Hitler conjured them people of their soul. By mind control. Mind controlling how? By controlling your food, your genes. Hitler shot shit up in them people that controlled the genes of them people. And the miracles doing it the same way but differently. They say, oh, we're gonna be, we're gonna wanna throw the be, we're gonna wanna be the one to throw the rock and hide our hand. We're gonna throw the rock and hide our hand. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna act like we ain't doing nothing. But but in everything, but in everything they are doing, they are conjuring your soul. They conjure your soul through food. They say, yo, we can't go back to Hitler's way of doing it and shoot their ass up with a needle. No, we can't do that. But we can do it. A we can control their genes another way. How so? Through their food. Understanding that our food has genes in it. Understanding that our food has DNA in it. Understanding that our food has information in it. And when you eat food that has information in it, it will so wake you up. Because information is what? Awareness. And look at the root word of information and you will find awareness right at the bottom. Awareness. Information is awareness. So when you eat food that is organic, pure from the earth, it is to bring you back to a level of awareness, of understanding who you truly are. You will come back to who you are. But America said we don't need them to know that. Well, why would we want them to know that? Why? So they can only go to the wild? So they can only run to the jungles? So that they can only go and get off grid? And leave our system, our perpetual transmutation of energy, because that's what America operates on. They understand the law of perpetual transmutation of energy. They understand that if we give you a little bit, we'll, we'll, if we show you a little bit, give you a little bit, you, 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 you'll bite the bait. You'll bite the bait. Oh, all you got to do is get this master's degree and you, you promise a house and a home. Get this master's degree and you promise a house. Get this master's degree and you promise a car. Get this master's degree and you promise a, life, a lifestyle of retirement. Hmm? And you retire and then you die and then what? Where you go? You spent 65, 70 years working for them only to die soulless. What is it to gain the world only to lose your soul? That isn't just for rich people. That's for you. What is it to gain anything of this world, anything in this world? Why do you want to gain this world? You should be focused on gaining your soul, keeping your soul. Why do you want to gain anything of this world? Jesus said, Peace you will have in me, not the peace of the world, because the peace of the world gives you trials and tribulations. But I give you the peace of understanding, knowledge, love. Huh? A lot of you are lost, lost in your ways because your food is all altered. So when the messenger comes, when the messenger comes to bring you the message of the Christ, when the messenger brings you the message of the Christ, what happens? You bash the messenger. Because you don't even understand, you're altered. It's the same thing as Hitler. Just, just look at it like that. You are being mind controlled like Hitler mind controlled them people. But America said we can't go back and make it look so brutal and, 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 and harmful as Hitler did it. Let's do it a softer, nicer way. Let's make it a little soft and nice way. Let's shoot. Let's not shoot needles in their arm, but let's shoot needles in their food. Let's not shoot needles in their arm like Hitler did. Let's shoot needles in their food. Let's alter the state of their food so it alters the state of their mind. Hmm? You will never elevate yourself to a higher level of consciousness because you are altering your mind through genetics. Through genetics. You are altering your mind through genetics. Food is genetics. Food is genetics. Biology 101. Food is genetics. Genetics is information, DNA information. It returns you back to yourself. I heard someone say it like this. Would you put soda, would you pour soda inside your plant? No, you would not. So why would you pour soda inside your body? Hmm? Would you pour soda inside your plant? No, you would not. Then why would you pour soda inside your body? Because your body is the living plant. You are the living soil. You are the natural man. Huh? I got to keep checking this battery because even with the charger, this thing is still going dead. But it gave me a little bit more light. So it kept it, it allowed me to keep going and get, I'm hot. All right, I'm hot. I done set my tea down somewhere. I don't know where it's at. But I'm hot now. I'm alive now. I'm feeling this. So once you start to understand that you are altered by food through genetics, then will you understand when the messenger comes your way, yo, this man is speaking truth. Why? It isn't because he woke you up. It's because the food you eat woke you up. It isn't because he woke you up. It's because you have returned back to yourself. 
And when you return back to yourself, you return back to a higher state of consciousness. And you, re when you return back to a higher state of consciousness, then do you return back to your natural self, God Supreme. God Supreme. You will begin to wake up. Your food is information. Information is awareness. Awareness is making you aware of who you are. But you won't know this. You won't know who you are. You will never know who you are because of the food you eat. You are lost in translation. You are lost in the message of bringing the message because you are lost in transformation. You don't know how to transform. I am here to tell you how to transform. Start eating pure again. Eat your food from the earth. Eat your food organically, unsprayed, un-GMO, un-pesticide, uh, 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 un all that stuff. Not, not pumped through uh, a gas chamber, but fed in a greenhouse. Huh? Fed in a greenhouse. Watered and, watered and fed in a greenhouse. Harvested in the greenhouse. Harvested in an environment where it was controlled. Huh? This is what it means to be organic. It means to be pure. It means to be natural. It means to return back to the soil, to the dirt, to the earth, to the root, to the branch, to the limb, to the tree. Return back to who you are. They got mad at Pharaoh because they got mad at Moses, but Moses was leading them to the wild. Hey, Moses, why are you leading us in the wild, man? You know, it's crazy out here. Why are you leading us in the wild, Moses? We, we had it better at our slave master's house. We had it better at our slave's house, Pharaoh. Pharaoh gave it to us better. At least he fed us. He gave us three meals. He gave us a place to sleep. At least he let us stay in our lower consciousness. At least he let us stay in our lower self. At least he fed us to stay in our lower self. At least Pharaoh fed us to where we stayed in our lower self. We didn't have to do nothing. We didn't have to take action. We didn't have to grow. We didn't have to transform with Pharaoh. Why are you leading us out of here, Moses? Why are you doing this? Because Moses was trying to transform you. Moses was trying to show you who you were. Moses was trying to bring you back to your higher self. Moses was trying to train. Moses was trying to bring you back to God, your higher state. God, your higher self. Moses is trying to bring you back to who you truly were. There's teachers who come and try to bring you the message and bring you the way. Bring you the message, but also show you the way. Because it's more than just bringing you the message. They have to also show the way. There are teachers who come to help show the way. They don't just bring the message. They be the message. And I'm, I'm glad I found Nature Boy. Because he showed me everything I knew what I already knew to do. Because my information, had my soul had been returned to me and my information had been restored. My information had been restored. My soul had been returned to me and my information had been restored to me. My soul had been restored to me and I, and I realized this. Returning back to my higher state of consciousness, understanding, yo, 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 yo. Everything, uh, it, it, you wake up, everything becomes alive inside now inside you. Everything becomes alive. You start to wake up. Why? Because you start to realize what's happening to you. Hmm? You start to realize I see I got I, I see I got an audience today. All right? You start to realize what is happening to you. Huh? So I am saying to you cuz I'm about to I'm about to cut this off because I don't want to I don't want I don't want it to shut off on y'all. I want to cut it off myself. I am saying to you to become alive again. Eat food that is alive. Eat food that is alive, not dead. If you eat food that is dead, you become dead. You eat food with no soul, you have no soul. And so you have no soul, you have no... Because what is the fruits? Listen to me. What are the fruits of the Spirit? The nine fruits of the Spirit. One of them is compassion. One of them is compassion. So if you have, the other one is gentleness, kindness, loving, meekness, humbleness, patience, self-control. If you understand the nine fruits of the spirit, if you eat, why did he call them the fruits of the spirit? The nine fruits of the spirit. Because the, the spirit lives in things that are alive like your fruit. Like your vegetables. Not in things that are dead. Spirit lives in things that are alive. Not in things that are dead. How clear can I? Is that clear enough for you? Spirit lives in things that are alive. Not in things that are dead. So Jesus called them the nine fruits. Fruits. Fruits of the spirit. The nine fruits of the spirit. 
He didn't say the nine cows or the nine chickens of the spirit, the nine mammals of the spirit. He called them the nine fruits of the spirit. And the nine fruits of the spirit is this. If you eat the fruit, you will return back. Your spirit will return back to you. If you eat the fruit, guess what? You will become alive again because the fruits are alive and the spirit is in the fruit. The spirit lives in the fruit, the vegetables, the earth, the organic, the organic food. Not the meats, not the sodas, the carbohydrates and the fructose and all that stuff. Huh? Your food, your food is alive. Your fruit is alive. So Jesus called them the nine fruits of the spirit. And one of them is compassion. And so when the messenger comes in to you and brings you a message, you have no compassion because you're looking at a man and you thinking man is separate from God when man and God is not separate. Man and God is one. And you got to stop looking at God as separate from man when man and God is one. And if you understand the nine, if you eat the fruits, you will gain the nine fruits of the spirit. And one of the fruits of the spirit is compassion. And if you have compassion and then when the messenger comes, you don't bash the messenger now. Why? Because you have compassion for the messenger. You have compassion. And you know how to show compassion. And a lot of you bash the messenger because you have no compassion. Compassion has been taken from you. Instead, you have rage. And rage is found in what? Animals. Rage is found in animals. And so you have rage just like the animals have rage. You, 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 we're not supposed to be naturally defensive people. We're supposed to be loving people, not naturally defensive people. We're not supposed to be defensive people. We're supposed to be all loving people. But because we eat animals, we take on an animal state of mind, we become defensive of every little word that comes against us. We become defensive of every little thing somebody says. We become defensive. And when we become defensive, there is no growth. You become an animal. You start eating like an animal. When you eat like an animal, you have the attitude of an animal. You have rage and you have defense mechanisms that set up because animals are built with defense mechanisms. We are built to love. Love thyself as you love thy neighbor. Love thyself as you love thy neighbor. Love thy neighbor. Huh? I said what I need to say. I said what I need to say. And I said in honor of the messengers who come before you and show you, they don't only show the way, they don't only know the way, but they also go the way. They go the way. You need a teacher that is going the way. Moses went the way. Moses led him into the wilderness. They didn't like it. Harriet Tubman was leading slaves out of slavery into the wilderness. They didn't like it. So Harriet Tubman killed them because I, she, I'm not about to let you give up my position, she said. You're not about to give, a, get, get a, give up my position. So I'm going to kill you. I'd rather kill you than you go back and live comfortable with the slave master and put us all under that same control. I'm not about to let that happen. I will kill you first. So in the black community, I'm addressing GMNs, genetically modified Negroes. Genetically modified Negroes are people who see a leader that come before them. A lot of leaders showed the way, taught us. A lot of leaders knew the way but never went. But there are not a lot of leaders going the way. Shut up, stop talking, and let me just go and show you. Let me just do this. A lot of leaders are not going the way. And when one comes the way, like Nature Boy, when one comes and goes the way, like Nature Boy does, Master Teacher, Nature Boy goes the way. And show, show you through by going the way. Getting up and going the way. You bash the messenger. Even me. You bashing me. I saw you on my channel bashing me. But it was okay because I don't address the bashing. I just go and find you out and say, yo, are you even worthy of my replying to you? Because you still eat McDonald's. You still eat McDonald's? Like, that was so yesterday's news. That was so yesterday's news. Like, a lot of people stopped eating McDonald's. Even people that ain't consciously woke yet stopped eating McDonald's. You still eat McDonald's? I can't talk to you. You, you, you need a 90 day I, I, I'm giving you a year fast You need to fast for a whole year Before you come to me and you still eat McDonald's You still eat fast food I got You got to, you got to have a 90 day an, a, a, a year 12 month 
fast and cleansy, detoxing your body. I'm not even giving you 90 days. I'm giving you a whole year to just get rid of all toxic from the McDonald's you consumed over your years. Get it out your system. Then come address me. A messenger comes your way. You bash the messenger. You have no compassion. And the reason why you have no compassion is because you're not living from the nine fruits of the spirit. You're not eating the fruits to get the nine fruits of the spirit. Your soul is being conjured of you like that animal you're eating. His soul is being conjured of it. And your soul is being conjured of you. And you're not eating food that's alive. You're eating dead food, so you become dead. You're eating food that soul has been ripped away. And your soul is being ripped away through the food you eat. And so you come at me with rage. You come at me with anger. You come at me with visceral. You come at me with vigor. You come at me with uh, uh, all this all this brolic like you all, you know, like you're going to do something to me when you see me. You come at me, you know, with no compassion at all. And that tells me because you're not eating from the nine fruits of the spirit. You're not eating from the, you're not eating the organic meal. And I, I spell meal M-H-E-A-L because your healing is in your meal. You heal through your meal. You heal through your meal. It is about eating, knowing what to eat to return back to a higher state. Eat your food and eat consciously. Eat conscious food. Eat food that is alive. Eat food that has the spirit in it. The nine fruits of the spirit. One of them is compassion, gentleness, and kindness. If you start eating organically again, you will start to have compassion again and be loving again and, and, and be gentle again and be kind again. But you bash a messenger and that tells me you don't have these fruits in you. These fruits are the spirit in you because you have no spirit. You have no soul. Your soul has been conjured of you. All right. Appreciate the message. Appreciate y'all being here. Uh, thank you. This is the Prophet Emoji. I'll see y'all again. I'm out. I love myself. Peace.